Hey guys, it's Sinem and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. So, I have, <laughs> I'm so excited. I have a Sephora and Bath and Body Works haul. And you're probably thinking, Sinem, how did you get that? You live in the UK. We don't have Sephora here. But my brother went to New York and he brought me back goodies. Of course, I sent him the money and I was like, just get me these things from Sephora and then just surprise me at Bath and Body Works. So I actually got a little surprise from him because I didn't, I mean, I didn't have time to pick out the products. So I just told him like, just here's money, get me whatever from Bath and Body Works. Let's dive straight into it. I am first gonna start off with Sephora. So let's just jump straight into what I got from Sephora. From Sephora, it's a hefty little bag. It looks like a little bag, but there's a lot of stuff in here. I think there's like 15 items or more. I don't know. So I'm just gonna pull them out at random. The first thing I have here that I decided to get is the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist soft radiance powder and this is in the shade light and oh my goodness this i have been wanting for a while now so it's supposed to be just a really nice like light reflecting powder and it's a really nice shade as well and i absolutely love the design of this that's what it looks like i think you just twist it and i will probably do a first impressions video like using all these products but that's the first thing i picked up from rare beauty i've heard good and bad things about this powder so if you have tried it let me know but again this is in the shade light which i believe is the lightest one and then i also picked up another powder one size beauty by patrick star and is his name patrick star patrick star yeah and this is the one size beauty ultimate setting powder and this one is in translucent and i absolutely love how big this is and this is what it looks like so i absolutely love you know i feel like you get a lot of product in here now looking at it, this one looks a little more on the like yellowy side, whereas the Rare Beauty one looked a little more on the pink neutral side. Apparently this is one of the best powders out there. It really looks like blurring and smoothing and of course I have to put it to the test, but I'm excited to have that one. His powder with MAC was one of the best. I decided to pick up something from this brand, which is called LYS, and this is a cream blush from them. And this, I believe, is a clean beauty brand by at Sephora. And this is the highest standard satin matte cream blush. And love the packaging of it. I got this in the shade Kindness. This is what it looks like. And it's literally just a triangle. Ooh, that's a pretty shade. It's really like a soft, corally peach kind of shade. And it is a cream blush. And it definitely does look like kind of matte looking. This I'm excited to try because I honestly don't even really have any peach cream blushes. I always have like pinks. So this one's a nice shade. And also I don't know too much about the brand, but excited to try out new brands. Speaking of new brands. Oh my gosh. You guys. You guys, I am a big fan of Gwen Stefani. So she came out with her own makeup line and before her music, which by the way, I know every single song of hers um, and everything about her, it was the makeup. She said that she was doing makeup and setting makeup before she became a singer. So the packaging as well is absolutely Gwen. Look at the font, that is so Gwen. And wait till you see the packaging as well if you haven't seen it yet. So I picked up five, th five things and she didn't really have much so I picked up enough to do a video on. So the first thing I picked up is the Original Me High Performance Matte Lipstick. And this one is in the shade Original Recipe. And the packaging on the uh, inside as well is like this little paisley print which I love. Look at this. I mean, is this not, oh, I think it's supposed to be like that. Is this not Gwen? This is so Gwen Stefani. It's giving me the Sweet Escape music video with the black and white and the gold. It's literally the Sweet Escape music video. So this is the packaging. It feels really nice and it looks really nice. And this is, oh my gosh, look at that. This is the shade Original Recipe, which is a, it looks like it's a velvety matte. And this is the red, that Gwen wears. Of course, it's her own line. She said this is literally the red. So if you see Gwen in a red lip, which is 99% of the time, this is that shade. So now I can rock a red lip and know that I'm wearing Gwen's signature lip. So that I cannot wait to try. I also picked up the IC in Color Multi-Dimensional Eyeshadow Palette. And this one is in Danger Zone, which is one of her songs, which I love. And again, the packaging on these, I think 10 out of 10, honestly. This is the Ashto palette or quad, and this is all cool tones. 
So I decided to pick up this one because I really just wanted to kind of do like a little bit of a cut crease moment and like smoky moment. So yeah, it has really nice shades. I won't go in depth because I will do a whole video on this. I also picked up this, which this was expensive. This was $48 and this is the Oh, by the way, did I say the brand? It's called Give. Give Beauty by Gwen Stefani. So this is pronounced Give. And it's the all-time prime smooth face oil. It can be used as a skincare product, but also as a primer before makeup. Really heavy bottle, feels really nice. It is glass. Yeah, it's glass. It's heavy duty. And it's literally just a primer oil or like skincare oil. So again, mm, smells like perfume. Um, again, can't wait to try that one out. And then just two other things. I picked up the I'm Still Here Lightweight Longwear Matte Liquid Lipstick. And this is also in the shade Original Recipe. So she has free lipsticks and all of them are in Original Recipe. And it's all the same red, just in different formulas, which is kind of cool, to be honest. So this is the liquid lipstick and it's supposed to be the same red. So it's just in liquid lipstick form. So I wanted to try out that one as well. And then the other finish was a shiny finish, but I didn't get that. And last but not least from Give Beauty, I picked up the Line It Up 24 Hour Gel Pencil, which is like her song, Wind It Up. I love it. And then the, oh, the name is also called Bath Water, which is also a song of hers. And this is a blue eyeliner. And she only came up with a blue and black eyeliner and I wanted to pick up this like metallic blue because how fun is that? So I will be putting all of this to the test and sorry, I can't go more in depth right now, but it will be more in depth in that video. Next, I picked up a gloss and this one is the Tower 28 Shine On Milky Lip Jelly Gloss. And this is in the shade Oat. This is the uh, Oat shade. I honestly thought it was gonna be a lot lighter, but it is pretty much a peachy pink gloss. And I thought it was gonna be also on more on the pink side because in the photos it looked lighter and this looks a little more of a like just peachy gloss. It's still really pretty. I won't put it on now, oh should I? No, I won't put it on now. I'll leave that for the first impressions, but that's really pretty. Oh wait, maybe we should watch it, let's watch it. Oh, I like the applicator. <gasps> oh yeah, this is really pretty. It is a lot more peach than I expected though. I thought it was gonna be pink. Yeah, that's a really beautiful, like, peachy spring gloss. Oh my God, this is perfect for the springtime. I did also pick up the um, Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Liquid Blush. I only have one and I rave by all the time. The one I have is in the shade Bliss. And I picked this one up in the shade Hope, which is a newer color um, from the line. And this one, oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. It is a really nice, like, pink, mauve light shade. Let me show you guys the Bliss shade. So this is Bliss and this is the new shade Hope. So you can see Bliss is a lot more on the peachy side and Hope is more pinky, like pinky, I guess. So I'm excited to try Hope because I love these blushes and I mean, how beautiful and dainty and soft is that gonna look on the cheeks? I cannot wait to try this one out. So again, next, I picked up this from Kaja which is um, Kaja Beauty, I think. And this is the Moon Crystal Sparkling Eye Pigment. So I actually wanted two shades, but they didn't have one. So I got this shade only. And it's in the shade Tiger's Eye. And this is supposed to be like a taupey bronze. Ooh. Oh, it looks a little darker than I thought it would be. I thought it was gonna be a lot lighter, but it's like a really, and it looks separated, but it's like a taupe brown shade is how I can really describe it. It's definitely like brown and bronzy, but there's a lot of taupe undertones in there as well. So that one looks really nice. Should I just put it on now? Let's see. Okay, it looks quite dark. Oh, it's kind of sheer. Okay. So it blends out quite sheer and it's literally just like a wash of this bronzy taupe with some metallic shimmer in there. So it is really pretty. And then these three is not from Sephora, like from the same trip. I actually got these a while back, but I wanted to throw it in here as well because I've been dying to show you guys these. So I showed you and I told you that I've been wanting this for a very long time. And this is the Bobbi Brown Long Wear Cream Shadow Stick in the shade Golden Bronze. I have been eyeing this for years. So this one looks absolutely stunning. And I'm gonna show you guys right now what it looks like. So that is it, the Bobbi Brown shadow stick and that is the shade golden bronze 
right there. And it looks like a basic bronze cream shadow, and it probably is, but it just looks so pretty. So let's swatch it. Oh, and it feels really creamy. Oh my God, yes, yes, yes. So this is it right here. It has a little bit of like taupe in there as well. Very similar to the Kaja one I just showed. Very like metallic, very beautiful. Oh, bronzy cream shadow. Oh my God. And then we have the Bobbi Brown Pot Rouge lips and cheeks, um, like cream blush situation. And this one is in the shade Powder Pink. And this one looks like this, which is a beautiful, I won't swatch it now, but it's a beautiful like neutral peachy pink so that one you can use on the lips as well and it is a cream and then we also have the bobby brown smoky eye mascara and this one is in black and it's supposed to be like a very smoky volumizing mascara and this is the wand on it which looks really nice and big, looks like it's gonna do a lot for the lashes. And then last but not least, from the Sephora haul, I picked up the NARS, brand new NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. And this one I did already test out, so it is what I'm wearing right now because I did film this before the Sephora haul. So yeah, I also picked up this one as well. And this one is in the shade Gobi. And I don't know which video will go up first, the NARS review or this, but yeah, I picked up this foundation as well. So that is pretty much it for my Sephora haul. Let's dive straight into Bath on Body Works. So from Bath on Body Works, again, like I mentioned, my brother just literally got me just some stuff. And this is so cute because he picked out everything. So shout out to my brother. He picked out all these products. So the first thing he picked out for me was the A Thousand Wishes Body Cream the little travel size, because I prefer the travel sizes more than the full size, don't ask why, I just do. I feel like I can go through them more quickly than the full size one. So this is, yeah, the Thousand Wishes one, and the notes on this, it doesn't actually say on the packaging, they used to, but the notes on this one is Pink Prosecco, Sparkling Quince, Crystal Peonies, Gilded Amber, and Amaretto Cream. Smells so good, it smells like, I don't know, it smells really sweet and just like, Oh, honestly, probably one of the best Bath & Body Works scents. Then we also have the Pure Wonder Fine Fragrance Mist. Oh my goodness, love this. Oh my gosh. This one smells really seductive, like it smells a little more on the perfumey side. And the notes on this one is Iced Rosé, Star Jasmine and Warm White Amber. And it definitely has like this warmth to it. Mm, love that. So that's that one. And then we also have the Bubbly Rosé Body Lotion. And this also just smells absolutely divine. Oh my gosh, this smells like, oh, this smells like my childhood, honestly. It smells like really sweet, like sweets. And this is Pink Sparkling Rosé, Sweet Blood Orange, and a Splash of Cranberry, which honestly, I'm not really getting any of those. It just smells really sweet. And honestly, this is a very tiny Bath & Body Works haul. I'm telling you, it's tiny, but I just wanted to throw this in here. Um, and also, if you are if you live in the UK and you're watching me, we now have Bath & Body Works. Oh my gosh, we have it in Next in Westfield, White City. So they stock Bath & Body Works there. And next, we have two hand creams. These are the ones that my brother picked up for me. Vanilla Buttercream. Oh my gosh. Love, love, love the packaging of this. Love it. And this one smells really sweet as well. Tahitian Vanilla Whipped Buttercream and Powdered Sugar. Oh my gosh, it just smells absolutely sweet like a vanilla biscuit or something. And then we have Raspberry Tangerine as well. This one I might like more than the vanilla buttercream. So raspberry tangerine is wild raspberries, fresh tangerine and lemon zest. And it smells really fruity and really fresh. Um, I really, really like this one. Then my brother picked me up this, which is so random, but I love it. Oh my gosh. So he knows how much I love makeup, obviously. And this is the Bath & Body Works Lip Oil. And it's in the shade Very Berry. And this one is just a berry like lip oil which is really nice. And then we have the hand gels as well. So five hand gels here. So let me go through the ones that I got. So we have Island Margarita, which looks like that with a little um, monkey on it. And this one smells really nice and fresh like lime. And then we have Mango Cove with a cheetah on it. And this one smells like mangoes. Yeah, like tropical, it smells very tropical and mango-y. And then we have pineapple coconut. So pineapple coconut, not a fan of the packaging of these though. I wish they could have made it a little more cute, but 
Pineapple coconut literally smells like pineapples. I'm not really getting much coconut, which is great because I'm not a coconut fan. And then we have watermelon lemonades, which I've had so many times before. And it's probably one of my favorite like summer scents from Bath and Body Works. And this is, oh my gosh, so nice. It's like just watermelon and lemons. That's what it smells like. It smells so juicy and it literally makes my mouth water. So next I do have a thousand wishes in the hand gel pocket backs as well so same like the body cream and this one again literally smells so sweet but like almost perfumey as well it's probably one of the best one of the best smelling like ones from the permanent line from Bath and Body Works so that is pretty much my little mini Bath and Body Works haul I'm sorry it wasn't bigger but again you know traveling from the US to the UK with like a bunch of products is not easy as well I didn't get any candles but I will be going hopefully soon to america and i can pick up more myself but i hope you guys enjoyed the sephora and bath and body works haul let me know if you are going to be picking any of these things up and i'm going to let you guys go now because this is a little bit of a lengthy video i hope you guys are all staying safe and until next time i'll speak to you guys all in my next video